Hey there, I am back with another deck review and today we're going to be looking at Hi My Name Is Mark Grey and Gold Editions from Art of Play. Now, this deck is a remake of a deck from back in 2014 when Art of Play worked with Mark Hoppus to produce the original navy blue version of the deck. Mark Hoppus is the lead singer and bassist for the band Blink-182 and back in 2014 was working to launch his own lifestyle brand called Hi My Name Is Mark. Uh, to commemorate the launch of the brand, uh, he wanted to produce his own custom deck of cards and that navy blue deck was the result. Now the deck was highly successful, sold out very quickly and has been a bit of a hot commodity with collectors ever since bit of a harder deck to get a hold of. In fact, I never got a hold of one of the original decks. And so was very excited in 2021 when Art of Play decided to bring the deck back with two new versions. You have the standard gray version of the deck limited to just 5,000 decks and then the more limited gold version with 2,500 of these produced. And like I said, never got to see the original deck. So very excited to check out the two new versions of the deck for myself. So let's get right into it. Now look at both versions, but let's start off with the gray edition. All right, so it's done on a matte cardstock with this sort of silvery light gray color. Very cool, very clean color to it overall. And then the monochromatic white design. It also has some beautiful letter pressing, which gives it that subtle embossed feel to it. Just a nice extra little bit of texture. I uh, get the initials of the, of the deck over here, H-M-N-I-M for Hi, My Name is Mark across the top. And then a beautiful octopus logo. This is the logo for Hi, My Name is Mark uh, on the center element here. Beautiful sort of intaglio engraving style complete with the waves swirling in the background. Really like the sort of vintage look to it but it's still very clean overall. On the sides, just hi my name is Mark on both sides. Some ad copy at the bottom for Dan and Dave Buck as well as hi my name is Mark and you can see these are made in the USA. The deck's printed by the USBCC. Top here has the initials of Hi, my name is Mark once again, but it's partially covered up by that gold seal. And then the back has an embossed version of the back design of the cards. We'll look at those details in a second, but it is finished out with a metallic gold seal here, complete with the Hi, my name is Mark logo in the middle. As you open it up, you get a facsimile signature of Mark Hoppus on the large flap, and then little skulls on the inner flaps here. And you get some interior printing as well. Keeping with the overall nautical theme of the deck, this one's imprinted with uh, metallic ink. It gives you the image of a sailor's map that makes its way all the way through the tuck case. Very cool extra little addition. I love interior printing. It's always a nice thing to have on a deck. So that's the tuck case. Very clean overall, uh, nice look to it. Just a great theme overall. All right, but now on to the cards. We'll start with the back design. And here it is. So at first glance, very much sort of a classic style to the cards. Has that feel almost like a classic bicycle deck, but of course changed out with tons of nautical elements to keep the overall theme. The center circles here feature an anchor with little twists of metal forming a little bit of a shape of an H there in the middle. And then all of that space in the middle here filled in with little bits of nautical elements. Of course, you get the uh, four octopi in the corners, the captain's wheel, the little uh, skull along with the compass and map here in the middle. Very kind of fun, dynamic design, lots going on. Especially love how the tentacles twist in with little ropes that are filling the extra area to give you this sort of swirling, twisting design all the way around the edge. And then finishes out with a nice thin white poker border for a unique but still very classic feeling back design. Uh, turning to the two jokers that you get with the deck, they are identical and of course have another nautical bit to them, this time featuring the classic pirate's parrot uh, flying over the waters and clutching a set of old style keys there. That background is done in gold metallic inks and then you get the black and white image of the bird in the foreground. Really cool look to it. I love this sort of extra bit of shine that you get from the accents from the gold ink and then this has joker joker in the corners. So would have liked to see two different jokers, but the identical jokers I think are really well drawn. And then you get two cards that frankly a little bit confusing to me, these pair of ad cards. 
uh, bits of art on both sides. I wasn't able to figure out what the art is even from, and it doesn't really fit in with the theme of the deck. So it's really just an odd set of cards. You get the one, almost a 50s pinup girl style here, where she's peeling away, away the skin of her neck. Very odd card. And then the reverse side just has a number two. And the other one has this sort of scientific drawing of a bunch of flowers, and then has this jumble of letters on the back. So not really sure what the uh, significances of the cards or if they're just bits of art to enjoy, but a bit of an odd feel that doesn't really fit in with the rest of the deck. So that was a strange one. Uh, the four aces are all identical artwork in the center. All of them built around that Hi, My Name is Mark logo, the classic octopus with the glowing eyes. Uh, the background is that swirl of water gives you that accent in gold metallic ink. And then a really fancy, ornate, uh, almost 3D style filigree all the way around kind of forming the blue. The uh, pip and index in the corner look a bit like they're stamped on. You get that little bit of weathering, a little bit of speckling that you would get like if you press that on with an ink stamp of some sort. But it gives you that kind of vintage feel to it overall, just like everything else in the deck. So would have liked to have seen, again, different designs on the Aces. A bit of a shame that they repeated the design, but there are worse designs to repeat than an Octopus. I think those always look cool. So there's your four Aces. Uh, the number cards are slightly custom. They do feature that bit of a speckled or uh, weathered look to the pips but a pretty classic shape and arrangement to the pips overall. You do get a bit of a custom font to the index in the corner, but nothing too special on these overall. I like the speckling, gives it a little bit of extra feel to it overall without it being too distracting if you wanted to use this for gameplay or something like that. The reds, classic red, the blacks, classic black. So into your clubs and finally with your hearts. And then we get to the courts. And the courts all feature different characters on them. So they're one-way courts. Uh, the jacks feature a look at a pirate here. You can see him striding his way down the beach with the sword in hand. And then that same ornate border that we saw on the aces. The queens all feature mermaids. And then the kings feature, I guess this would be Neptune or maybe King Triton or something like that, uh, holding his classic trident in the air. Beautiful look to them overall. I love the gold uh, accents once again in the back. I think the gold little hits on this one really stand out with everything else being so monochromatic. So very cool art style. But I will say the one thing that's a shame, you'll see this as we get into the diamonds, is you get very, very close to repeated quartz. Now there are some slight differences. I will say all the queens are exactly the same, but you'll see some of the jacks are facing off to the sides, some of them looking head on. That's to align with your classic one-eyed jacks in a deck of cards versus the two eye jacks. Uh, so you do get that difference. And same thing on the kings. Some of the kings are facing off to the side to commemorate the one-eyed kings. But otherwise, you'll see a lot of repeated artwork on this one. That's a little bit of a shame. I like the artwork on this one, uh, but the fact that it's just completely repeated, I think really detracts quite a bit. It feels a little bit unfinished. Like they took a design, got tired of designing court cards, and then just repeated the artwork. Bit of a shame. And it's really odd considering they did do some variations to them. Now, the one thing I will say that's a really cool variation is on the King of Hearts here. Uh, to give tribute to the classic suicidal king, you can see that this version of Neptune is stabbing himself through the neck with his trident. So that's a really cool addition. Which there have been more variations like that through the overall courts. So still really nicely drawn, but the repetition, bit of a shame. All right, and that is the deck. So these are printed by USBCC on the classic super thin stock that Dan and Dave use on pretty much all of their decks. And it handles really beautifully, smoothly right out of the box. Dan and Dave are cardistry guys, so the handling of their decks definitely uh, kind of goes to the forefront. They really do have that stock that they love. I'm a big fan of it. So that's the one version of the deck, but let's take a quick look at the gold version. Now there's not too many differences on this one. Obviously it's a little bit more limited, which is 2,500 of these printed, but for the most part, it's a color swap. And you can see that kind of mustardy yellow gold color to the tuck case overall. I like it. I think it looks really nice, really clean. I think I probably prefer the gray a little bit to the gold, but this one, not bad in its own right. 
Uh, but same design elements, same gold printing on the interior of the tuck here as well. Uh, gives it kind of a nice extra, bit of a luxurious feel to the deck overall. The artwork on the cards themselves, including the extra cards, is the same as before. So you're not going to see a difference on the faces, but you do get a recolored back design. Of course, this one naturally is done in all metallic gold inks. Great shine to this one overall. And I... I am a big fan of this back design. I think it really, really works well. The whole back design has a classic feel. The metallic gold inks kind of bring it to that next level. So really like the back design of the cards in the gold version. But overall, I'd have to say, personally, I like the standard version a little bit better, which is nice because it's also uh, the cheaper and easier to find version of the deck. But anyway, that is it. That is the look at Hi My Name Is Mark, the gray and gold editions. Now the gold version, a little bit hard to find at this point. You're going to have to go to like secondary markets to look for that one. But I'll put a link down in the description where you can get a hold of the gray version on the Hi, My Name is Mark website if you're interested. But anyway, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe for more deck reviews, more unboxings. Let me know what else you want to see. And I'll see you for the next one.